Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. Uh, all right, so quick a few things before we get started to today's experiment. I want to show you guys the dried results of my last bloom. Um, it dried great. So if you watched the last video, I had mentioned, you know, that this base was a little thick and, you know, um, Lisa Marvin usually uh, thins out the base sometimes with Floetrol. I didn't want to do that. I think if I do it again, not if, when I do it again, um, I will actually thin out my lighter colors because I feel like the light colors are too thick. But then when I pick my darker colors like the Tricorn Black or um, Anchors Away, you know, I've used those dark colors. They're not as thick as these light colors. So I will... Um, thin it out a little bit with US Floetrol um, because it was really thick, um, but it's still, it dried perfectly. Uh, you know, it doesn't have a top coat of resin just yet. I see a doggy here. <laughs> it doesn't have a coat of crystal resin yet, but you can already see even in its dullness um, that it is super shimmery and it's going to look amazing. I will show it to you once it gets a top coat of crystal resin, but there you have it, dried beautifully. Uh, a lot of people said, so glad you didn't stick your fingers in it. So I'm, I'm glad I did not do that either. Uh, it's a 14 by 14 inch canvas. It is available for purchase. If anyone is interested, you can email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com. All right, really quickly, just a reminder, time is running out. I'm going to be in Asheville, North Carolina, uh, May 23rd to the 25th. I will be there for the Fluid Art Experience. Um, classes are selling out. Other YouTubers are gonna be there as well. Come and see us. It's a three-day event. You can take up to six classes. You can take just one class. Come for the event. There's gonna be a gala dinner, a meet and greet, raffles, all kinds of fun stuff, auction, you know, whatever. Um, I'll be there three days. Uh, if you want information on the event, you can go to www.fluidartexperience.com. I'm going to be doing six different classes. One of those classes I'm going to kind of talk about when I'm doing today's video. Um, but yeah, if you want to come, go to the website. I'm also going to be in uh, Fort Myers, Florida. Uh, July 13th and 14th and I'm doing a two-day event with Kathleen from Cause Creations. If you want to come and see us in Florida, you can email us at fluidartwithfriendsflorida at gmail.com and we will get back to you with all the information and registration form and all that fun stuff. All that information is also listed in the description below the video. So if you want that info, check the description below. In my last video, I kind of teased and mentioned to you guys that something new is happening here in my home and um, getting myself set up and my dad's gonna be coming up to visit and build me a new workbench in the garage and I told you guys to guess as to what you think it might be. Now, I gotta say, some of your guesses were hilarious, some of your guesses were correct, and some of your guesses were so way off it made me laugh. Um, I had two people say that uh, their guess was that Anthony and I were getting married. Um, no, <laughs> that is not happening. Um, that is not, I don't know what that has anything to do with my dad coming to build me a work bench uh, in the garage, but uh, we had quite the chuckle over that. And then actually someone beneath that comment wrote, what? She's getting married. Wait, I thought she was already married and had two kids. Yeah, no, lots has happened within the last year, let me tell ya. And if you haven't been watching my videos, that's probably why you're confused. But anywho, back to the guesses. There were a lot of guesses, and as I mentioned, there were some um, correct guesses. And I am hoping that by Sunday, when my next video rolls out on Sunday, I will be able to tell you guys what that secret is. Um, so it all depends on UPS in the next two days, okay? Um, so it depends on UPS. So you might find out Sunday. If not Sunday, then Wednesday, a week from today, for sure, you will know what my secret and my surprise is, all right? So that's it. 
Um, I'm gonna get started. Today we're working on a teeny tiny mini canvas, little mini, and I'll tell you why. So I'm gonna get myself set up and I will be right back. All right, everybody, let's get started. So teeny tiny canvas. This is actually a 10 by 10 inch canvas. Now, if you are coming to Asheville, North Carolina to take uh, classes with me, one of the classes I'm going to be teaching is how to resin top coat. Um, so you, if you've, I know I have people in the class already signed up, but in that class, you are get, going to get to resin a 10 by 10 inch canvas, gallery wrapped canvas, okay, with one of my little mini blowouts on it. So not only are you going to learn how to use resin, how to top coat a canvas, you are also going to get to take home one of my original pieces of artwork. So it's like win, win, win. Um, so yeah, that is one of the classes I'm going to be teaching uh, in Asheville. So like I said, check out the website, fluidartexperience.com if you wanna sign up for that class and any of my other classes. So today I thought I'd do a little experiment. The lovely, lovely people at Fluid Art Co. That's from this little piggy. They sell all the piggies and all kinds of other stuff. The lovely people at Fluid Art Co. Um, sent me some Amsterdam pouring medium. Now I've never used anything other than Floetrol in my paints uh, and my blowouts. So I thought I would give this Amsterdam pouring medium um, a whirl and see what kind of different results or maybe same results I might get in a blowout. So thank you to uh, Lanny and Billy at Fluid Art Co for sending this over to me. So we are doing a small little canvas. So I only have three colors here and I think that's more than enough for this teeny tiny little guy. So what I've gone and done is I have mixed my titanium white by Amsterdam with the pouring medium and water. Now, this pouring medium uh, seems a lot more fluid and liquidy than Floetrol, um, but for the meantime, I actually mixed these the same way I mix my regular paints with my Floetrol, um, you know, from video 434. That may not be a good thing. Um, I, I did do a drip test. I definitely did a drip test between these paints and my paints here in the low leave Effie bottles and the drip was the same. So maybe the ratios are good with this stuff, but it seems to be pretty good to me. I don't know if you can see that, but I used the same ratios that I use in video 434. So we have titanium white, get away, titanium white by Amsterdam. Then I have some greenish blue by Amsterdam, by Amsterdam. Then of course, some 24 karat gold by Deco Art, and some greenish blue. No, not that's greenish blue. This is iridescent blue green by Pebeo. So there you go. Now, I didn't think about that. So I've got a, sh <gasps> ah! I feel like Lisa Marvin. Sorry, Lisa, I love you. <laughs> oh my gosh, I made a mess. That's not like me. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. Why is it that I instantly thought of Lisa Marvin when I did that? Maybe because when I was at her house, she spilled so much paint everywhere. Lisa, I hope you're having a great trip. She's out on the West Coast having a vacation. All right, let's get back to it. So as I was saying, oh my goodness, that was funny. I have two shimmery paints here like so, shimmer, shimmer. But then I don't know if I want to put two blues together. So I will just have to do that and leave it like that. And I don't typically like ending on a shimmer, but it is what it is. Okay, I'm going to, usually I'll speed you guys up when I flood my canvas, but because this is a teeny, teeny, tiny, tiny canvas, this is literally gonna take me like 60 seconds to flood this. So I don't think there's ever even a point to speed you guys up. 
You know, it would really help if I didn't stick my fingers in it. Um, I hope this isn't an indication of a bad day to be painting because, you know, not only did I just spill. See, look at this. I'm a mess today. What is going on, Canela? What is going on? It must be the weather. You know, today, well, you guys are watching this on Wednesday, but I recorded this on Tuesday. But it is the first day of spring. And let me tell you, it does not look like the first day of spring. It is snowing out right now, which is kind of depressing because we've had like the best weather the last couple of weeks, like spring weather, where we're wearing running shoes. And like, I mean, the weather was so, so, so nice. And now it's snowing. Yeah. So that's a little depressing that it's snowing when it's the first day of spring. Okay, so let me clean off my spatula. All right. All right. Yeah, so it is cold outside. It's not very nice outside. Uh, it sucks. So, you know, I'm hoping that, you know, the weather changes in the next week. You know, we're supposed to be getting, yeah, April showers. Mayflowers, isn't that what they say? So this is where my squeeze bottle comes in super duper handy, but I don't wanna use the squeeze bottle that I normally use because it's got um, American Floetrol in it and this has the pouring medium. So I'm just going to dab my fingers and while I do that and make sure my edges are fully covered, um, back to my surprise. Um, I have been spending a lot of time in my office learning new things, learning new programs, watching a lot, and I mean a lot of YouTube videos on, you know, what I'm going to be doing because I need to learn and there's a big learning curve and, you know, Lots to learn. And the best place to learn things is YouTube. There's also a lot of Facebook groups that I've joined so that I can learn some more. You guys are probably wondering what is Canela talking about? I had a lot of guesses for pottery. Um, no, I'm not doing pottery. That is way too messy for me. Not happening. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had people guess pendulum, pendulum, um, like from like coal, doing a pendulum, big, big pendulum in the garage. No, that's not it either. Um, but like I said, some of you guessed correctly. Some of you had the right guess. So good on you. All right, let me pop the bubbles. All right, bubbles popped. I'm really excited to see how this is going to turn out. Now, of course, I mixed way too much paint paint for this little thing. So basically, I'm just going to do a squiggle. Like that. And I still have like more than half the cup in there. But what are you going to do? I'll save it. I'll put some saran wrap over it and save it. Okay, and of course that's a lot of gold. Gold is gonna take over. So I may just go back over this with some blue again and then the light blue again, just because there's only three colors. I might as well flood this sucker up. Why not? Although that doesn't look like very much light blue there. It kind of sunk into the gold. Let me do a thin strip of blue, okay. It's so weird pouring out of cups and not out of my lowly Veffy bottles. It actually kind of sucks. All right, there. That should be more than plenty. Let's pop the bubbles. I'm very curious to see, like, am I gonna get cells? Like what's gonna happen here? Now I know it's a small little blowout, but let's see what happens.
I'm loving the collars, but there's no saddles. There's like maybe just a few right here popping up. That's very surprising. So this might be a good answer for those of you who don't like cells. Um, there's a lot of people out there who hate cells um, and don't want them. So maybe, you know, pouring medium from Amsterdam is the way to go because like, I mean, I've got 24 karat gold in here and we all know how much the 24K creates cells. Um, and there's an iridescent by Pepeo in there too. So I'm really surprised actually that this is the only part that's kind of selling up. So let me just kind of play with this a little bit. There, this is a little mini me. So here's the thing, I've got to do like 15 to 20 of these with my regular paints, obviously. Um, but I'm going to be doing a bunch of these little guys um, for my classes, for my class in um, Asheville, North Carolina, uh, for the Fluid Art Experience. So yeah, I'm super excited. I'm going to have to, you're going to see a bunch of these um, in videos to come. Uh, in the next month because I got to get them all done and ship them out to Asheville. So it'll be like a little mini series. All right, so I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to touch up my edges and I'm going to bring you guys in for a close up. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so don't forget to take your stick and you want to scrape the drips. Okay, don't forget to do that. Do all four sides, all the way around, come back 10 minutes later, do it again, and you should be good to go. Now, yeah, like I said, not very many cells happening in this piece. You've got a few little ones over here, but that's really much about it. So if you are the type of person who doesn't like cells, like, I mean, there's some over here, but really that's it. Usually my paintings are full of cells. But if you don't like cells, maybe the Amsterdam pouring medium is the way to go for you. So I don't know. Let's see what kind of shimmer we're going to get out of this. Okay, so the flash is on. Now, yeah, I guess there would be a lot of shimmer because two out of the three paints were a shimmery paint. So that part of this is beautiful. Teeny tiny little guy. So I'd say this is definitely a lot of shimmer. Ooh, look at that, that is pretty. This is why I added the 24K, cause you know you're always gonna get something pretty with 24K. And that Pebeo sure is beautiful. So there you have it, everybody. Um, I'd love to know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Um, do you like the no cells? Do you think it's cute? Like, I mean, what are your thoughts? Um, I'm going to keep this one as one of the pieces that's going to be resined in Asheville. So somebody in the class is going to get lucky enough to have this pretty blue piece. Um, but yeah, there's going to be more of these to come. Definitely a lot more of these little mini canvases to come. Because as I said, I need to get myself prepared and get ready for teaching in Asheville in May. But yeah, I'd like to know what you guys think of this pouring medium and the results. Um, leave it in the comments below. And again, as I mentioned, don't forget, everything you need to know is always listed in the description below. There's, you know, discounts for things, Amazon links for my Amazon store shops, all that stuff. Like so much information in the description below. Um, that is it for me for now. Until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.